Hey folks, Anne-Marie here. It's kind of an overcast Saturday afternoon. I think we were hoping for more sun this weekend, but it is May and we are heading into our third month of lockdown. A lot of us will be heading back to work on Monday, May 4th. And my big concern is that we will see an increase in the number of infections and the transmission of infections as we head back into public. It's inevitable. We do have to learn to live with this virus. But I think as a way to prevent transmissions that happen in the community as we head back to work, we should be using cloth masks. So tonight, instead of posting a very long and boring post, I'm going to show you how to put on a cloth mask. When I go out in public, anywhere, any public space, which isn't very many right now, grocery store maybe once every couple of weeks, haven't been to the pharmacy, but, and when I'm at work, I'm using PPE, which is a totally different thing than a cloth mask. This is my favorite cloth mask. This I think is made by Hides in Hand. I love the design because I'm truly Canadian. This is a loop mask, which has the material that covers the face that needs to be covered and loops that go behind your ears. So let's get started. First, you wash your hands, 20 seconds in hot soapy water before you put a clean mask on. Then it's very simple. Put the mask over your nose, under your chin and loop the mask behind your ears. Perfect. Look how well that mask fits. Covers my nose, covers my chin. There's no place where spatter from anything that I'm speaking out can be released from the mask and into your face and into your space. This mask doesn't prevent you from getting the, the virus. This mask prevents you from transmitting the virus, which I believe is the most risky thing that's going to happen as we start to move into public spaces again to go to work. Wear the mask and the key is don't touch your face. Although I can discuss more why that might not be as much of a problem when you're just looking at stopping transmission from you to others. But don't touch your face. Hands are washed for 20 seconds. Mask is on into the public space. Don't touch your face. Get home. Before you remove the mask, wash your hands again really well. 20 seconds, hot soapy water. And then you take your pinkies, grab the loops of the mask, and pull the mask off gently. Let the mask fall down. Then you wash your hands in hot soapy water, pick the mask up, throw it into the wash or into a hot basin of soapy water. You can leave it there for 20 minutes or so, jiggle it around like you do when you're washing clothes by hand, rinse it out, hang it to dry, throw the mask that's gone into the wash machine into your dryer. And after you've placed it into the wash machine or the basin of hot water, you've got to wash your, your hands with soap and water again. So very important, it's not mandatory in Canada to wear a cloth mask, but I believe from the research that I've been doing that a cloth mask is gonna be the ticket towards fewer transmissions in the community and fewer surges of the virus, which might happen as we go back into the workplace and it's difficult to maintain that six feet of distance. This will stop you from tra transmitting virus if you are an asymptomatic uh, carrier to others in your work environment. So have a good Saturday night and I'll see you later.